Adriano Goldman is a two-time Emmy winner for The Crown. Among five nominations, other projects have included Jane Eyre, August Osage County, and Andor. Uh, Adriano, you were the cinematographer on the first episode of The Crown and then the last episode of The Crown. Uh, so congratulations on that. And how did, it, how did it feel and how much changed over your time on the show, like getting to shoot that first episode to where you guys ended up? I mean, what was that whole thing like for you? Well, it was a long journey. I shot 28 episodes of, you know, 60, uh, including, like you said, the first two and and the last one with Stephen Daldry, one of the, you know, executive producers. And I, I think I could I could say one of the creators of the show with, with Peter Morgan. We had just done in 2013, we had done a, a feature film in Brazil um, together. And it was my first uh, ever job with Stephen. And I, I was already a fan since I saw uh, Billy Elliot. I mean, it really blew my mind. And and then he came back to Rio for the premiere of Trash, the movie we did together. And I, I remember that I had read something about him and Peter developing something for Netflix. And I was just pitching like, you know, I hope this is the first of many shows we do together. And it was really, I mean, incredibly easy. He said, well, if you want to do it, it's yours. You can come over and start this journey with us. I mean, ironically, he was doing a play. So I had to shoot the first two episodes. Actually, we shot F3 and 5 first with Philip Martin. And then then Dodrick joined us. And we went to South Africa and shot the first two. So for me, aside from all the journey and how much I learned and how much the whole thing changed my life and my career, the fact that I could finish, you know, uh, specifically with Stephen, because he went away so he was he was with us for the first two seasons. He directed four episodes, and then he disappeared. He's a theater man, so he he's always busy doing theater. And then when I heard that he was considering coming back, uh, not for the last season, but for the actually he only directed one episode on season six. So that kind of full circle for 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 me and him, let's say, hmm. was like aside from again all the gains and all you know, the amazing people I, I worked with, that for me was a specific kind of and very um, warm sort of a award that I kind of, you know, I, I felt like really privileged to be able to go full circle with such a, an incredibly creative artist and the way he works on sets, the way he's absolutely beloved by the actors and, the you know, his choreography is super complex and so it was, a, yeah, it was just a, an incredible journey for me. And having having Stephen there, uh, be, and also the 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 coincidence that we shot the very last shot on the very last shooting day was also very kind of emotional for all of us. You know, people we we worked together for you know seven eight years, so it was really a very special journey. And you know, and I'm very proud of you know my my whatever my work and you know what we could deliver for you know season after season yeah it was just yeah special journey for me yeah you should definitely be proud and i think you mentioned like full circle obviously the finale uh brings the whole show full circle right because you have the queen Elizabeth, the three queens together for the the first time there i guess well and like you like you said you shot so many episodes of the show what was it like to shoot all three of those actresses together uh or bringing them together for that you know that sequence well, I mean, again, I don't want to repeat myself, but a privilege, right? Not yeah. only because, not only because, uh, you know, I I knew them, you know, I had worked with all of them from the very, the very beginning. Um, there was a moment when during prep that we were not absolutely sure that we could eventually we would have all of them because of you know availability and negotiations and whatever. So there was a little, uh, there was a little bit of suspense. I mean, are we actually going to have them? What is the best moment ever, even to tell the crew that it is happening? I mean, there was a like two versions of that episode, one that would have the three queens and there was another one that it wouldn't. So basically it was going to be Imelda going through her own uh, flashback journey through uh, film projection. There's a little bit of that on F6 that she sees her father and her father um, Cortez which is very emotional for Imelda and, and the character at that point. But then the fact that is the, 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 the three queens and the, the separate scenes between them, it, it's, it, it's not really a flashback. It's basically 
Imelda's thoughts and considerations about, you know, how how long she wants to carry on being uh, the queen. So it's more like an inner inner conversation. So and that's I think what uh, Stephen is so brilliant about. And you you realize that specific uh, the scene between uh, Imelda and Olivia Coleman, they never actually look into each other's eyes because uh, she's not there actually. Um, and then for for Claire's, because that's the last one, they only actually face each other at the very, very end of the scene. So, you know, Claire is always kind of, you know, over email the shoulder, whispering ideas and, 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 and I don't know, uh, even like conflicts or there is a, there's a disagreement, but it's a kind of an inner feeling and inner thought. So I think it was very, I mean, brilliant. Like I said, the way he choreographs the scene, there's, we should always have movement. Actors should be always moving and the camera should somehow embrace the movement. Um, there's a very sp special flavor on whatever Stephen does. I mean, he's incre incredibly enthusiastic and, you know, such a force. And, you, and you'd think that someone coming back to a show that he created, in a way, you 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 get the 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 maturity and the experience from someone like Stephen, but you think like you know they come they're gonna come uh, in feeling like this is the comfort zone for them you know they they know how to do the show, but it was actually the opposite. He came incredibly motivated, like you know it was the first time ever he was doing the show, and it was and also it's the longest episode we've ever had, um, and that was also very much uh, Stephen fighting. For a finale that would be a little bit more uh, filmic, you know, even in terms of length and and scope. So yeah, it, I think the the last episode. I, I love the fact that is you know a, a, a proper finale, right? That you real so you get the three queens and uh, it's very moving. It's a very moving uh, episode and long. And anyway, yeah, I think we should. I think it, we, we've made the right choices of you know actually giving the finale a little bit more weight in a way so i think it's was yeah very clever when you're, of... you're like you're talking about steven and stuff obviously like you said like got to work with him in those early in the first time and then now back for this Did, in terms of you are you guys just like locking back into like your working relationship right away when you're back on set or like you know is there like just like you no time has passed at all yes yeah there's a there's a big um uh, friendship and intimacy and, and i think i can i can read him well i mean in terms of you know the the way again it's operatic and theatrical sometimes and it's uh, uh you know again the, the choreography is way more complex um he drives me mad of course like every super creative director because they always they always want more and more and more and i think some of us dops we always kind of a the first thing about the camera moving moving too much means like we have less control uh, about you know the lighting and light directions and close-ups and how you come from super wide shots and finish on someone's faces. I mean, you, you feel like you're kind of losing control, especially over lighting. But then little by little, you just you just agree with him. You know, it's funny how you think like he's, he's right. He's right about adding movement and flavor and energy and, you know, uh, and fluidity to, the, to a show that eventually for some episodes is quite contained and solid and you know there's not much, much camera movement i mean we never went crazy with like drone shots or helicopter shots or anything that was unjustifiable for the story uh, there was also a very kind of a, a initial sort of approach that was the like the anti fairy tale sort of way of telling uh, a story about the royal family of course you're talking about incredibly wealth wealthy people and i think that the the general uh, impression is that they live a kind of in a fairy tale, um, but I think from the very beginning, I think Stephen and Martin Childs, the production designer, and Peter Morgan, we we really never wanted that the the kind of a let's say Cinderella super glossy sort of look. We always wanted to be very grounded and realistic and approachable and uh, just basically trying to humanize the characters the best we could. So. Yeah, I think that's why people like the show, because who knew, right, in 2015 when we started, that another uh, royal family drama would be this successful. So, yeah.
yeah, it's it's really incredible. Uh, we have to wrap up here. Adriano Goldman, uh, cinematographer for The Crown. Thank you so much. Final season, you can stream all the episodes on Netflix. Thank you. Thank you.